Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this series of videos, we're looking at how to use Universal Audio's Luna software. And in this video, we're going to be concentrating on markers. If you haven't liked and subscribed and you'd like to see more videos from the Studio Rats, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on that little bell button down there and you'll be notified as soon as the videos come out. So what are markers? Markers are a way of letting you easily navigate your session. So let's play the song and we'll find out where we're going to put the first marker. I found the best way of inserting markers is to use your counter up here. And I know the intro starts at bar two, so let's just type in two. Now, if I go to my markers and I push the plus button, on the left hand side, this little window opens up. Now, all I have to do is just to type what part of the song it is. So this is the intro, so let's type intro. We can choose the colors here, and we can also put comments in. So my comment might be fade up to start. So now we know where the intro is. Let's just play the song, and we're gonna find out where to put the next marker. So I'm going to put the start of the verse at 18. Now what I could do is I could just click anywhere around here to actually set where I want my marker point. Now it's really worth having your snap on for this and also choosing your grid. If you've recorded to a click like I have on this song, I'm going to choose bar as then it's always going to snap to bars. So let's go to, uh, let's go to bar 18 there and we're going to add another marker in. And let's call this verse. Now we can change the color for this and push apply. So as you can see, now we've got two markers. The great thing about actually putting comments in your markers is if I just hover over that marker, it says fade up to start. So it's always gonna remind me of things that I need to do. Okay, let's put in the next marker. Now I could be putting the markers in on the fly. So let's just put another one in. And I'm gonna call this one pre-chorus. And let's change the color again. Let's push apply. Now, as you can see, that's put that pre-chorus in where my initial playhead was. So what we can then do is to move that to the right point. What I'm gonna do now just to save your boredom is I'm gonna go through the song and I'm gonna put all my markers in. Okay, so now I've put in the last marker. I'm just gonna put in a little comment here to fade out and push apply. So now we can easily navigate our whole session just by clicking on the marker. I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. Thanks for watching. If you haven't liked and subscribed already, like and subscribe and you'll be notified of all future videos from the Studio Rats. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers.